Good morning guys, so it is about, what time is it? It's about 8.04am, oh she, boom, yeah, there we go, <laughs> 8.04, and I've decided, as you might have seen from the title of this video, to go without my phone for 24 hours, so, so I actually got up an hour ago, I had my alarm set, because I usually don't like taking my phone downstairs with me, I find it just... I don't sleep nearly as deeply as if I did without my phone in the room, so I never sleep with my phone in the room. So I set my alarm clock. You guys might be able to see down in the corner here. It says 7 a.m. So I did actually get up at 7, but I just forgot to vlog and show you guys. Yeah, so I thought I'd show you guys a day without my phone. I have done in the past phone free days because I've heard it's so good for us to be able to separate ourselves from our phone because it has kind of become an extension of ourselves nowadays. We always check our phone, always have our phone with us. But sometimes I do cave and it's not good and I need and I thought this would be a great way for to actually stick it out and make a commitment not to actually touch my phone at all. Sometimes I'll use my music or I'll do something like that. So I've decided no social media today, no phone. If I do need to talk to people I'll talk to them on email. Now I did actually cheat a little bit before because I actually started my day with my phone so I'm going to do a full 24 hours from 8 to 4 a.m. But I'll show you guys, I'll turn it off now. Boom. Power off. Still going. There we go. It's off so I'm going to go put it upstairs and I'll show you guys, I'll give it to my sister when she wakes up which probably won't be for another hour or so. So. What I'm going to start off with to by doing is my usual workout. So because I do that on my laptop, I thought that would be okay. So all I do is my online workout with my gym crew because at the moment, of course, of quarantine, we don't have our gym classes going at the moment. Um, I don't know what's going with this. Yeah, so I'm going to go and do my gym class with my laptop and get my workout on. So I'm going to go put my phone upstairs. As you can see, it's just me and my... My little friend over there, she and I are the only ones up. <laughs> so I'm going to put my phone down just here, among the nuts. We just cleaned out our pantry. Look at this. Oh. Everything is so easily accessible now. It has glass jars. Oh my gosh, like I woke up this morning thinking, oh, it's strength today, it'll be easy. Nah, it was like intense as. Anyway, finished, so I'm going to go and start making something up because I've been wanting to make some custard tarts for some time now, ever since I got my little book that I'm sure you guys will know by now. <gasps> the Global Vegan that I talked about in my What I Eat In A Day video, like the whole way through. Again, shall link it down below if you guys want to check it out too. I'm going to be making some custard tarts from that. But tonight I was thinking, because I'm making dinner, I'm going to make this fish with a Y <laughs> and chips dish with some tartar sauce. I'm pretty sure the fish is just made with mushrooms and some breadcrumbs on top. So I'm actually really excited to try that out. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you guys. I've made up another batch of coffee and I'm just stirring it through for probably the last time because by 12, it should be ready to go. So I'm so keen. I absolutely love this. This has like become a new favorite of mine. If you guys want to check out the recipe for this cold brew coffee, I share it in my What I Eat In A Day video in the cards above or and I've also linked it in the description below for you guys. It saves me riding my bike every day to the cafe to get a coffee. But not gonna lie, I probably will be riding my bike again today to the cafe because I absolutely love that bike ride. And with the autumn leaves that are falling around that area, oh, it's so stunning. Oh, such a scenic bike ride. And I just love getting out and about because I have all this time because I'm not on my phone today. I might just do that. Fill in the time. Yeah, so these are the custard tarts I will be attempting to make today. So fingers crossed, they look just as good. To make the pastry, sift the flour and salt into a large mixing bowl. Then pour in the water and mix with a wooden spoon. The dough should be wet and sticky. I actually had to add in a little bit more water when I was mixing the dough together just because it was a little bit dry and crumbly. So just adjust the amount to how much you need for you. 
Transfer the dough to a clean and well floured work surface. Make sure it's really well floured because I found that my dough kept sticking to the table as I was rolling it out. So just make sure you use quite a bit of flour to dust the surface. Then dust a little flour over the top of the dough, then knead and roll in circular motions for 10 seconds to form a ball. Dust with a little more flour, then invert a bowl over the dough and allow it to rest for 15 minutes. Remove the bowl and ensure the surface is still well floured. Press out the dough to a 10 cm square, make sure it's quite thin. Then roll and stretch it out into a 3 to 5 mm thick square. Now I kept rolling mine out a little bit too thin, so I had to re-roll it a few times, so just be careful about that. Using a spatula, or I prefer to use a knife because I found the spatula just wasn't evenly coating it too well. Spread 40 grams of the vegan butter over 2 thirds of the square, leaving a 2.5 cm border around the edge. Grab the two corners of the unbuttered third and fold this third into the center. Then fold the other side over the top like folding a letter kind of. Sprinkle more flour over your dough then flip it over and sprinkle flour on the other side. Roll and stretch the dough back out to a 3 to 5 mm thick square. Then repeat the buttering and folding process with another 40 grams of the butter. Transfer the dough to a tray lined with baking paper and place it in the fridge to chill for around 10 minutes. Place the dough back on the floured work surface and dust with more flour. Roll back out to a 3 to 5 mm thick square and spread the final 40 grams of the butter over the dough. This time though, spread it over the whole square and only leave a 2.5 cm border along the top edge. Then dip your fingers in some water and wet this unbuttered edge. Then starting with the end closest to you, roll up the dough into a tight log. Sprinkle more flour over the dough log, then cover with a plastic wrap. I just used a reusable silicone wrap from Agrina and place it in the fridge for at least two hours or preferably overnight. When the dough is ready, preheat the oven to the highest possible temperature. Remove the dough from the plastic wrap or the silicone wrap if you're using one too and cut the log into eight even sized pieces. Press the dough into the holes of a cupcake tin by placing a piece in the center of a hole with the swell facing up. Wetting your thumb with cold water again, you want to push the pastry into the hole to form a type of well and then do this with each remaining piece of dough. Now to make the vegan custard, you're going to place the milk, cinnamon, turmeric, maple syrup, vanilla and vegan butter in a saucepan over medium heat and whisk constantly, slowly sifting the corn flour into the mixture until it starts to thicken. Then, still whisking constantly, remove from heat as the custard can begin to thicken rapidly. Pour the mixture into your pastry shells until they are three quarters full. Then sprinkle with a little coconut sugar and a pinch of cinnamon. I forgot to do this at the time, so I sprinkled mine with coconut sugar and cinnamon at the end. Bake for 12 to 15 minutes or until the pastry is golden and the custard is starting to caramelize. Remove from the oven and allow it to cool for 10 to 15 minutes before eating them. These tarts are best eaten fresh, but you can keep them in an airtight container in the fridge for up to five days. What do you think? The <laughs> moment of truth. <laughs> What's in the inside? It tastes Custard. like Custard. Yeah. Mm. What's it taste like? I can't tell if I like it or not. <laughs> I'm like putting your video in here. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Look, he's just had a bath. Oh, she was having a bath while I was cooking. Oh my goodness. She'll clean now. <laughs> As I was waiting for the dough to set, my instinctual reaction was to reach for my phone and just like scroll through social media, Instagram, and things like that as just a way to pass the time. And I caught myself, I was like, oh my gosh. Can't do that today. So it's like kind of weird not having that to like just go to whenever you like have some downtime or when you're waiting for something. But it's kind of nice in a way because it kind of gets you to stop and slow down and like actually engage with the people. So I have started having conversations with my family. I actually sat outside with my dog and just like kind of enjoyed the sun on my skin. Like it's nice. You just do other things. I found that's something I really enjoy about not having a phone just to always go to. So I'm going to go on a bike ride now. It's like my favorite thing to do, especially in quarantine because I've had all this time. So I'm going to go on my favorite favorite biking trail to my local cafe. It's such a beautiful bike ride like I was saying before because some of the trees are starting to lose their leaves so the color of the leaves are changing. 
looks absolutely phenomenal. Like in certain areas, there's like a bunch of those trees I'll show you along the way. It just looks so pretty. I usually take my phone with me on my bike ride, so it's gonna be interesting. I like listening to my music, so this is gonna be different now. I'm gonna have the sounds around me to enjoy as I go along now. So that's one thing that's a bit different. Safety first. <laughs> How do I look? I know if you guys can see on this tiny little screen in the distance just over there You can see the outline of the blue mountains So right over there and it's one of my favorite places to go hiking over there. They have the most amazing amazing hikes. Oh Definitely check it out if you guys are in Sydney the blue mountains hit it up. So stunning there So I made it, I'm at the cafe. I probably won't get a coffee today just because I'm gonna make my coffee at home, my cold brew at home, and that will be ready by the time we get back. I just had a huge drink of water, because I'm so sweaty. I totally overdressed for the occasion, like jump on that. <laughs> so I'm just taking a bit of a breather, and then I'm gonna ride on back and go have my coffee when I get home. You see the sweat dripping off my face. Oh. <sighs> it's such a nice day. As you saw that bike ride, it's absolutely beautiful. Guys, I'm just going to sort of sift it out to get all the coffee grounds. Whoop! Try not to make a huge mess. <laughs> We're already at the bottom anyway. I use a nut milk bag just to sieve it out because it gets holds the coffee a bit better than a normal sieve. And then I just recycle the coffee grounds in my compost because they're so good for your garden. They're rich in nitrogen and that's so good for plants. <laughs> I'm just going to pour the rest of my coffee that's left over into this glass jar and just keep it in the fridge because it lasts up to five days and it keeps it nice and fresh. It was actually interesting not having my music to listen to on my bike ride today just because it got me more like present in my surroundings. Like I admired a lot of what's going on around me more than I would have before. Like noticing people riding next to me or walking. Like it was just so different. It was a nice experience. So even after this I might actually still do that. Like not have my music going all the time. Like sometimes I ride with my music and then sometimes I'll just have me like listening to everything going on around me. So it's 3 p.m. and I'm finally getting around to having my lunch. So I, like I've said in my What I Eat In A Day video, I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat until 12 p.m. So I do that full eight hours. So I do 12 to eight where I can eat something. And then from eight to 12 again, the next day is my fasting time. So it's about 16 hours. So eight hours eating, 16 hours fasting. Anywho, I have actually made myself a keto bircher, which is another recipe from the Global Vegan. So it basically has chia seeds, flax seeds, and hemp seeds. So it's so rich in omega fats and other healthy fats like that. And I just topped it with some banana, coconut yogurt, and some raspberries. So I'm going to be enjoying that. And I've actually just started reading Anne of Green Gables. So I love the movies, such a classic. And I thought I'd start reading the actual books because I've heard good things. Some of my friends have read them and said they were really good. So I'm actually gonna give them a try. I think the last novel series I read was the Harry Potter series. The books were just like top notch. So if you haven't read it, good book to read or books to read. Reading 
is my favorite, favorite pastime. I know I'm like such an old soul. Anywho, I'm going to be doing my meditation now. So it's something new that I've recently started. This is a new meditation that I've been doing and it's basically just sitting in a quiet place and just observing your thoughts. So whatever thought comes into your mind, you just observe it with no judgment. Like every single tiny little thought that may just pop up, I'll observe it and then just let it go and that is what I do for about an hour I find that's really long and after that like you just gotta push through that extreme boredom and your mind screaming at you to do something I've even found too that being off my phone today I feel so much more calm and less anxious than I usually do during the day I find like I'm not kind of have that anxiety of you know needing to check my social media needing to check my emails needing to check my texts it's just nice not being sort of controlled by my phone like with notifications with alerts with texts so that's one of the biggest things that I've noticed and it's really nice I actually want to continue doing this after this video like I'll make it like a regular part of my week where I just have one day of phone freeness <laughs> So it is 5 p.m. I was going to draw like the rest of this picture. It's a Bondi skate park. So I walked past it and took a photo on my phone. And this was the picture I've been copying. I'll we'll post that off on Instagram when it's finished for you guys to see. But now I've just realized that my, it, my picture is on my phone and I'm not using my phone. So I'm going to draw. And then I was going to do guitar before as well. So I'm going to play some guitar because I'm practicing that at the moment. I want to learn how to play a few songs. Then I realized that. YouTube and my actual like guitar practicing things on my phone as well. So I was like, oh, <laughs> guess I won't be doing that either. So I think I'll just get started on making dinner. So I'm making that fish and chips recipe that you guys saw earlier. I'm so excited to try that out. So I think I might do that now instead. It's so weird, like you, t you just don't realize how much you're on your phone. Like for me, I don't realize how much I go to actually use my phone until it's not there anymore. And I'm like, ah, oh. so it makes you really appreciate it. gonna finish up and have my dinner for tonight this is amazing fish and chips it tastes absolutely phenomenal yeah so I'm gonna have that for tonight and I'll see you guys in the morning to finish up my 24 hours without my phone good morning guys so guess what time it is drum roll <coughs> it is 8 17 so that means I can have my phone again Woo! yeah yeah I made it through the whole thing my eyes <laughs> Still got sleep from them. I wish you all a wonderful day ahead. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you guys in future videos of mine. Bye.